It's a terrifying scenario. A snail is constantly hunting you down. If it touches you, it will kill you. Hello, I am Gavin Free. I am responsible for the Slow Mo Guys YouTube channel. I also work at Rooster Teeth, and apparently, I invented this snail meme. It's a terrifying scenario where a snail is constantly hunting you down. If it touches you, it will kill you. But it's only moving at the speed of a snail. The original scenario came about because I was on a podcast with Bernie Burns, the founder of Rooster Teeth, and he was reading out some list about which animals kill the most humans. And it was like mosquitoes were number one. It was like hundreds of thousands of people a year. But somewhere in the middle, there was just said snails. It was like 10,000 people get killed by snails. And we just found that very funny. But it was actually because of a parasite that gets put into the water by these snails and then people drink the water. So that was slightly less funny, but that just gave me a funny idea of like, what if the snails were the killers? It went from there. It was such a stupid discussion. I think it really annoyed Gus, who was one of the other people on the podcast. He was like, this is the dumbest hypothetical scenario I've ever heard. The dumbest <laughs> hypothetical question ever. You can think about it in so many ways. Originally, you think $10 million, hell yeah. Oh, the snail's gonna kill me? No way. Oh, but it's only moving at the speed of the snail. I'm back in. And then you just you sort of ping pong back and forth between like what it would mean for you. Like if you left it at work, could you drive home and get a good night's sleep? And then you're trying to do maths on it. You're like, how fast does a snail move? And you're trying to plan out how much time you had. I can't remember what we figured out, but I think if you if you move to Australia from the US, you're pretty much good for the for most of your life. The problem there is that you lose track of it because it's probably gonna be on the ocean floor coming towards you. So you'd never fully enjoy the money, but I think you would for a few years at least. So I think I would take it. I think my favorite one was uh, going full on attack and just encasing it in tungsten, I think was quite a good one. I'm not sure if we specified in the rules that it will just keep moving. I think the, we eventually settled that it will just move through anything to get to you, but still at the speed of a snail. I think technically burying it in tungsten is cheating. You know, I, you've got to give these people credit. It's a pretty genius move, in my opinion. There's been a lot of people trying to figure out the true origins of all these scenarios and the snail thing. They're always pointing to like different content I've been in. But I think really the, uh, the common factor is just, I'm just very irritating. This is something I've done for ages because and I've always just enjoyed these stupid hypotheticals, but this was the first one I said in content that spurred on a show. I don't think it's ever been viral from the source. I mean, people watched our show and people listened to that podcast, but I think the original part of it that went viral was just a screenshot where someone else had tweeted the scenario. Someone just tweeted the exact situation and then that was screenshotted and then went all over Reddit. I'm not sure if it was viral in its tweet form or whether it was viral in its screenshotted on Reddit form, but it seemed to come around every few years in that format. And then just recently it's been a TikTok thing, which is I think the, the biggest it's ever been. <laughs> I was getting contacted through every available means telling me like, oh, you got to look at TikTok, look, look, look at this snail. And I think I'm just very proud of it. And I think it may be the biggest thing I've ever done, but I'm not known for it in any way. It might be bigger than all of my work on Slow Mo Guys in terms of the spread. And I think that's very funny. We ended up making a whole show about stupid scenarios called Million Dollars, but the idea you get a million dollars and you have to just be lumped with something ridiculous in your life. Is it worth it? Usually not. I liked one where it was, you get a million dollars, but every time you cut yourself, you know, accidentally cut yourself, all of your blood comes out. You don't die. You immediately get new blood as if it never happened, but you have an entire human body's worth of blood to clean up through that just shot out of the wound. I thought really like inconvenient stuff like that, stuff you're not in control of when it happens. There was also another one where every time you sneeze, you get randomly teleported somewhere else in the world. I don't think I would do that one just sneezing and suddenly you're in a, you're you know you're thousands of miles away and you've got to get a flight home really inconvenient with slow mo guys i was contacting people in the film industry i wanted to do work experience i ended up meeting this guy in the uk who uh, at the time had the only two phantoms in the country so he was in very high demand and um he was from a film background so he actually didn't have a lot of experience with computers and controlling stuff through that way so he found me very useful because i was young and new computers but it was all fun stuff and then i just thought this would make a brilliant youtube channel it's just something everyone can share because we a lot of the time we just show subjects that everyone has seen a billion times at normal speed so when you slow it down it is genuinely interesting when you see that for the first time you just see see the world in a familiar world in a very different way i think is always interesting it's why time lapse is interesting too and you know like thermal cameras and stuff under a microscope it's like it's all stuff that it looks so weird but it's still familiar in a way i think that's why it works
and thankfully it blew up. It, it was there was the intent to have it blow up because I needed to qualify for this visa so I could work for Rooster Teeth. It ended up being successful enough that I kept going with it even after I moved to the US to work for Rooster Teeth. I've been doing the channel on my own for almost two years because of COVID. Um, Dan lives in the UK. The border for British tourists to come to the US has been closed for like 600 days now, I think. We'll be hitting it hard again when he's back. Thank you very much if you've been involved in the spread of this snail meme. Now make sure you quickly forget about it so it can come back in five years. <laughs>